This is Avinash Sharma. Last video, we discussed the values in the Agile. In this video, we will discuss the principles in Agile. What are the principles in Agile and, and how we can take the help of the principle to make the project management better and better and better. What are the principles? There are 12 principles in Agile. And these principles are not rules and regulations which should be followed strictly. These are just thinking and methodology. We can take the advantage or we can take the help of this principle to make the project management easier, easier and easier. Very first principle, the highest priority is to satisfy the customer. The customer satisfaction should be the best policy for the management. For that purpose, the product team can use the MVP means minimum viable products. Minimum viable product means having the some enough features to satisfy the customers. The Agile focus on the short time framework. It means the product should be delivered on that framework, within that framework. And the frequently, the feedback should be taken from the customers. And on the basis of the feedback, then the changes should be incorporated. Second principle, welcome changing requirements. The product team should be and a flexible to adapt the new changes and that change might come from the competitive market or from the request from the customer. So the team should be so flexible and for this purpose the team can review his plan and study time to time and can use the new tools and new technology according to the requirement of the new change in the product. And also the product team should study the benefits of the new change incorporated in the product. Third principle, deliver working software frequently. The agile philosophy, it focuses on the smaller time framework. It means the complex project should be divided into smaller chunks. And these chunks is called the aspirant or iteration. So that aspirant or iteration should be delivered within that framework which has been defined or assigned. And that time framework could be say two, two or four weeks. It depends on the planning. The time framework, the time framework depends on the planning and strategy of the management. And for the improvement of the quality of the product, each and every iteration or time framework should be reviewed and the feedback should be incorporated in the next aspirant. Fourth principle, business people and developers must work together. All the related team to the project management or project development whether it's a development team, technical team, stakeholder, client or management team should sit together and have discussion about the progress of the and all teams should share their activities with other teams and this team meeting should happen with a time framework. The time framework can be decided by the scrum manager. Next principle 5. Build projects around motivated individuals. In Agile, there is no place for the micromanagement. Micromanagement means the manager assigns some work to a subordinate and observes him and reminds him again and again about his task. Micromanagement lacks the freedom for the individuals. So agile's focus, the individual should be supported. The individual should be told the importance, the part of a team. The individual should be told clearly the responsibility of the individual as a team member. The next principle 6, the face to face conversation between the development team and the product team. The agile principle focus, there should be a proper meeting between the development team and the product team. The development team can share the demo in the front of the product team. So the product team can give the feedback about the product. Next principle 7, working software is the primary measure of the progress. Development teams work on the minimum viable product. It means the development team should release the product with some minimum features which can satisfy the customer for the time being. Then take the feedback from the customers then decide how to make the next release better and how to increase the performance of the product for the next release. Next one, principle 8, agile process promote sustainable development. Before starting the development all the principles of the agile should be followed. Everything should be decided and plan before starting the development like the piece of work. 
the time frame for that work, how to handle the errors and the expectation from that product. Finally, a cross-functional team sit together to discuss what kind of like the problems may occur during the development and how to handle those problems and for those problems a plan should be created. Next principle, nine, continuous attention to technical excellence and good design. It means before starting the development, development team should have the full or technical knowledge of the any change or any new tool used in the development. What are the benefits and what are, what are the drawbacks of that new tools or new technology? The development team must have the knowledge of that one. Next principle 10. Simplicity. The purpose of the Agile principle is to keep the process neat and clean. First of all, you have to focus those processes which are like the hurdle or which makes the our process slow. Then we have to remove that one. For the repeated task, we can use the automation. And before the development start, we can discuss those processes which are not important for the development. Then we can discuss how to remove those processes from that development process. Next principle, 11, self-organizing teams. The team should be autonomous and capable of acting faster. Then the team should have some kind of power to take a decision without any permission. This is the principle of the agile. The team might comprise of the stakeholder, managers and consumers and core team members. All the teams should be allowed to take their own decisions without any further permission. And the final and the last one, the principle 12. At regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective. It means after the, a particular interval, the development team should reflect the change or the progress on the product. They should have the meeting with the other team also, like the meeting with the cross functional team or meeting with the client. They should have a demo about the features they implemented in the product. On the basis of the feedback from the client or other team members, they can plan how to make the product more effective. So guys, this was all about the principles of Agile. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.